Um, emerging technologies such as cloud computing or you know mobile services, artificial intelligence, and, and you know Internet of Things, etc., are really very important. And and I would say that they we will not achieve sustainable development goals without the support of technology and emerging technologies specifically. So I'd like to take a couple examples just to make it clear, real. If you think about agriculture and farming as an example, uh, one of the issues we have is you know being able to feed more people, uh, save water uh, on irrigation, etc. Technology such as you know Internet of Things and cloud and big data and AI, artificial intelligence, will help the farmer improve his yield. Will help the farmer uh, reduce his uh, water consumption, etc. And that's fundamental to support SDGs. And you can play the same with health and others. I mean, in healthcare, um, it's the same issue. We will be able to prevent diseases. Uh, we will be able to prevent um, pandemics. I don't things such as you know cholera, for example, will be able, thanks to artificial intelligence, getting data from different sources, will be able to to help government, um, you know, uh, stop uh, cholera before even it starts, but even when it starts, being able to address it as early as possible. So my question really focuses on, on emerging technologies, such as cloud computing, mobile services, and OTTs. You know, over the top, people talk about OTTs a lot. And so we have three, four objectives. One is really to make sure that we help people understand what are these technologies. I mean, definitions is, are important, cloud and so forth. Then, then we go into discussions around um, what sort of th are the business models behind them and what various business models can we find? Then we help the, the countries and regulators define policies and frameworks and strategies to enable, create an enabling environment for those technologies by providing you know, case studies and so forth. And, and the last piece is around how do we help them create an ecosystem in country that supports the development and the emergence of those technologies. So this sort of the the uh, the things that we work against. I think the the um, w we we definitely entered into an era of you know ICT build economies. I mean, we know that. I mean, for sure, um, in the in business, companies are talking about digital transformation. As a matter of fact, countries are now talking about digital transformation in industries and so forth. And I think countries, especially developing countries, have a huge opportunity um, because many of these technologies that we're talking about have been democratized to a point where they are available to anybody. So cloud is now available to a startup in any country in the world. As long as that startup has access to the internet, they can develop um, amazing technologies, new apps, new uh, you know, scenarios. So, so that's just an example, but, but the matter of fact, as I, I, was, I was thinking about, was talking about in your first question uh, around you know, SDGs, I think the, th there, is, there is huge opportunity for developing nations to develop strategies that support the development of, of those emerging technologies because their impact will be great on education, on governance, on uh, you know, environment, healthcare, infrastructure, transportation, you know, all these industries. And eventually you will have both an, um, um, a macroeconomic impact on all the industries, but also an opportunity for job creation and so forth. Uh, and I think we need to get ready for that. I mean, as a matter of fact, technologies such as AI are going to be here coming to us. And we can't just ignore and sit here and talk. We need to be able to master those technologies, enable 
in order to build for the next generation of 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 services, next generation of products, next generation of. So that's why I think it's a huge opportunity for developing nations.